Hi students and welcome back to my class and you're here at Missy TV. For today's video, we're going to discuss about scientific notation. In this video, I'll teach you first about writing standard form to a scientific notation and then scientific notation to standard form. Okay, we have here for example, write each in scientific notation for number one, we have 937,000. So, here, what we're going to do is just to place the decimal point on the right side of our first non-zero digit in our given. So, here in number 1, the first non-zero digit is 9. So, it will become 9 point. So, this would be the decimal point, 37. And we don't need to write these zeros, okay, times 10. Okay. So, since our given is a whole number, so we have the 937,000, so the point is here. Okay. So, now we need to move this decimal point from here up to here. Okay. Up to the right side of our first non-zero digit. Okay. So, let's count from right to left. Okay. So, that will become 1. Okay. How many units from here? 1, 2, 3, Four, five. So that is 5. If you're moving from right to left, so that is a positive. So we have 5. Okay? We have 5 as the exponent. Okay, again, so let's count from light, right to left. It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's why we have 5 here. Okay? In number 2, we have 352,700,000. So again, what we're going to do is just to write the decimal point on the right side of our first non-zero digit in our given. So, our first non-zero digit in our given is 3. So, we have to write 3 here. Okay? And then the decimal point, point 0.5, 2, and then the 7. Okay? We don't need to write the zeros. Okay? So, we have now 3.527 times 10, okay? Again, since our given is a whole number, so our um, decimal point is here. Now, we're going to move the decimal point to left. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, since we move from right to left, so this is a positive exponent. So, that is for number 3, we have 0 0.00005053. Okay, what we're going to do here is, again, to place the decimal point right the first non-zero digit in our given. So, that is 5. Okay? So, we have 5 point. So, the rest, so we have to um, write the rest of the numbers, 0, 3. Okay? So, next is... From this point, okay, we need to move uh, the decimal point from here to here, okay? Because this is our decimal point, so we need to move this decimal point from here to here, to the right of our non-zero digit in the given. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, we have 5.03. 10 raised to, so since we move the decimal point from, um, from left to right, so this would be negative. We have negative 5. So again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have negative 5. So because we move the decimal point from left to right. Earlier, we moved the decimal point from right to left. Okay, so here in number 4, we have 0 0.00000842. So again, let's move our decimal point to the right of our non-zero digit in our given. So that's here. So we have 8 point. Okay, so we had to write the other digits. Oh, so we have uh, 4, 2. And then let's move the decimal point from here to here. Okay, let's count. So, from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, from left 
to right, so we have times 10 raised to negative 6 because we move from left to right. So this would be our answer in number 4. We have 8.42 times 10 raised to 6 power. Okay, so let's have the vice versa, right? H in the um, standard form. So we have the given here, which is in scientific notation. So now we will write this into standard form. So for number one, we have 4.35 times 10 raised to 6 power. So now what we're going to do here is to move the decimal places. Instead of... Um, Instead of multiplying 4.35, 6 times by 10, so that would become 4.35 times 10, times 10, times 10, times 10, times 10, and times 10. Instead of doing that, what we're going to do is just to move the decimal places and add zeros. Okay? So, just like this one. So, we have 4.35. Okay? So, since this is in the 6th power, instead of... Uh, multiplying it 6 times by 10. So, let's move the decimal point here. To, since this is positive, so let's um, move the decimal places from here to here. Okay? Uh, 6 units to the right. Okay? So, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay? So, we have 6. Here, so let's move the decimal point here and then add zeros here. So we have zero, 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 zero. We have four zeros one, two, three, four. So our final answer here is four, three, five, zero, 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 zero. So this would become our final answer. So we have four million three hundred fifty thousand. Next, in number 2, so again, we have 9 times 10 raised to 7 power. Instead of multiplying 9 by 10 7 times, so what we're going to do is just to move the decimal places from here, okay, from left to right, okay, and then add zeros. So we have 9. Since our um, decimal point is here at the right of the first uh, non-zero digit, of our given. So let's move the decimal point 7 units to the right. So let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So now our decimal point is here. So let's add 0. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So our final answer in number 2 is 9, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay? So, this would be our final answer. So, we have 90 million. Okay? So, that would be our final answer. For number 3, how about if we have already the negative exponent like number 3? So, we have 5.9, 10 raised to negative 4. So, what we're going to do, if the exponent is a negative 4, so we will move the decimal places from here, okay, to the left. Okay, so what we're going to do first is to write, okay, 5.9. Next, let's move this, um, this decimal point from here, 4 counts to the left. So, let's count 1, 2, 3, 4. So, here would be our decimal point. So, add 0, so we have 0, 0, 0, and also here. Okay, so our final answer in number 3, 0 0.00059. So that would be our answer in number 3. How about in number 4? So we have 6.48 times 10 raised to negative 6 power. So again, let's write the 6.48. Power um, is a negative, so... We will move the decimal point from here, 6 units to the left. Okay, so let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So our decimal point now is here. So now let's add zeros. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so let's add 0 uh, to the left of our decimal point. So now our answer in number 4 is 0. 
point zero 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 six four eight. So that would be the answer in number four. So that's how we end our lesson for today. If you have more questions, so please comment down below and don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Bye bye.